a nonprofit can use technology to improve efficiency and effectiveness by identifying any processes I think that could be automated to make them quicker and, and then implementing that. I'll give you an example. Um, so <clears throat> Hurricane Sandy hit the New York, the greater New York area. And at that time, Team Rubicon uh, was using just a pencil and, and paper assessment system. So we would go canvas a neighborhood door to door with a piece of paper, exactly like this. And it had a bunch of questions on it. We would ask the homeowner to, to help us fill it out. And if they wanted us to come and muck and gut their basement, they would fill out a, uh, a waiver and, and get us information that way. At the end of the night, we take all these pieces of paper, we collect them in our planning cell, and, and the, the planners would go ahead and, and try and put, you know, which neighborhoods were which, and, and it was a mess. And then Palantir, an organization that, uh, a software that I had used in the intelligence community to discover latent connections between events like IED explosions and, and, and known terrorists, um, they came to us and approached us and said, hey, we think we could help you with this. We think we could automate this for you. And so on the fly, they created a mobile damage assessment form that after it was filled out and after the waiver was signed by the homeowner will be piped up into the cloud. And in the evening, the planners would plot all these assessments on a map and we'd be able to assign work orders based on clusters of activity. It revolutionized our model and we were able to uh, do so much more work than we could using the, the pencil and paper system. So that's just one example of how we're using technology in Team Rubicon to make us more efficient in the field. Palantir built that damage assessment uh, capability exclusively for us during Hurricane Sandy. It's obviously been iterated on since then. Uh, it's, it's, it's much more powerful today. But yes, this was a partnership uh, uh, that uh, that was developed right there uh, on the testing grounds of the Rockaways after it was struck by Hurricane Sandy.